Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy. And today I'll be feeding my obsession and decorating some tiered trays for spring. So if that's down your alley, go ahead and grab your tier tray and we can decorate together. I have three different options that I want to um, decorate. So I have a small one, a medium, and then a three tiered, like taller tray. So let's go ahead, grab all of our mini decor and let's get decorating. Okay, so this first one is a small little tier tray that I picked up from Target. I'm gonna go ahead and start with it since it is smaller and sometimes it can be a little difficult to decorate because you have to use smaller items. So let's go ahead and start on this one. This colorful nest I found from Hobby Lobby and I thought it looked really adorable. So I'll just set it here, maybe prop it up if I can get it to stay. Maybe when I add the other elements, it'll stay a little bit better. And next I'm going to grab this galvanized metal piece that I found from Hobby Lobby. I love all their little pieces in that galvanized section. They're all small and look really nice on tiered trays. So I think that is really nice. So I'll probably move up here to the top tray now. I'm using this adorable little mug that I found in the spring shop. I think they've had these before, but just to pull in some of that pink I'm going to be adding that to the top and then I'm going to just add some little bit of purple flowers to the top just to add that little spring touch. So to go ahead and incorporate more of that galvanized metal I'll use this cute little watering can and what better place than right next to the pot of flowers. I think that just looks really nice. I think I'll just go ahead and turn that around. I love to show the spout. I think that's super cute. Then I think I'll add this pretty neutral Happy Easter egg that I found at the Target Dollar Spot. And I think I'll just fill in this little area here and it just gives a little bit of spring Easter touch on this side. I think I'll go ahead and turn this around just so that you can really see the happy Easter. And then to the top of the watering can, I just feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little piece of garland. This was actually some green baby's breath that was on a garland. I just pulled it off. So I'm just going to stick that little sprig up there. And I think that really makes that look nice and full. So I think I'll just add this little bud face again from the Target Dollar Spot to the bottom. And basically I just have three things on each tier, but I think that is absolutely perfect for this size. And there you have it. This one is all finished. Up next, we'll be decorating this three-tier tray that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Because it is so large, sometimes it can be a little difficult. So in order to fill it up, I'm going to be using sprigs of this garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's the baby's breath garland. And so I just picked that all off instead of leaving it as a garland. I'm just gonna fill all the trays with that in order to elevate the decor as well as just fill up the space in each tray. So I'm gonna start on the largest tray first and use all of my larger decor. So I'm starting out with this really pretty white pot that I just put some more um, purple flowers to make it look a lot like spring and I'm just going to place that to the left and towards the back to fill in this area. To the opposite side I'm adding the ceramic white fruit basket that I picked up from at home and I thought that it filled up the space really nicely and balanced that white on the opposite side. So then I'm going to add another one of these cute little egg nests from Hobby Lobby and then I picked up this sign that says he is risen and I got that from Kirkland's. And I think that would look really pretty right here. 
Then I'm going to be adding this assortment of colored plastic eggs that I've picked up from Kirkland's. And I'm just going to add them to the ceramic basket as if they are just spilling out. Now, since this tiered tray is going to sit somewhere where it will be seen on all sides, I'll go ahead and turn it around and we can decorate the back. So I found this cute little gingham print bunny with also the black gingham on the back. So I thought that was really adorable. So you could use either one, but I'm going with the pink since I'm sticking with the pink and blue theme for my spring decor. To add just a splash of blue to the back of this tray, I'm going to add another plastic egg from Kirkland's. Moving on up to the middle second tier, I'm going to be adding my false graph sugar container to the back to fill in that area. Then I think I'll be using this little stand that I found at Hobby Lobby to just add differences in heights and interest. And I think on the top I'll add more of those plastic eggs from Kirkland's. Then I'll be adding these adorable little bunnies. I was super excited when I spotted them at Hobby Lobby knowing that I was going with a pink and blue theme. I just knew I had to grab them and they would be perfect in my tiered tray. So I'm just going to find a perfect little spot here in the front so they can take center stage. The last little piece that I'm going to add to this second tier is a potted plant from Target and it looks like it's in a cement pot but it, of course it's not heavy enough but I'm just going to pop that right in the back and I think it just adds a really nice uh, focal point of greenery. All right, so now we're moved up to the top and smallest little tray. So what I want to do is to incorporate some pink and blue. So I found this hobnail pink glass from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna tuck it right back here to add a little bit of that pink. And then also I want to incorporate some white. So this little pitcher I thought would be perfect. It's actually in their table decor at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to place that here on the left and then in front of that I want to incorporate one of the Target Dollar Spot um, signs and it says Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes and when I tuck it down in there it kind of gets hidden so I've taken a Jenga block and actually painted it white and it fits so nicely down in there and elevates anything that I put on it and it is hidden by the greenery so that just works out perfectly and then to to add that pop of blue, I'm taking this adorable napkin ring, also from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to stick that down into the little pitcher, and then it just looks like the bunny ears are popping up, and I think that is super adorable. One final touch with some greenery, and this tray is finished. go ahead and spin it so you can see how it looks all the way around. And I really love how this one turned out. So of course it is a little bit more Eastery, but I believe I will decorate it here on my island. So be sure to stick around if you're interested in seeing me decorate and clean my kitchen in the next video. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you back. And I know that 87% of you who are watching aren't subscribed. So please, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and helps me to continue to grow my channel. Okay, so we'll go ahead and end with my first tray that I ever purchased and it was from Amazon. And I can't 
totally recommend this one because every once in a while it gets a little bit uneven and a little crooked. So I know there is another one that looks almost like this one. So I'll have that one linked in my description box and anything else that I have used that I can link, I'll link down below. But let's go ahead and get started on this one. It is one of my favorites and it's an oldie but goodie. So up here on the top tray, I'm just gonna start with the little creamer or pitcher. It kind of looks like a pitcher to me. So I'm just going to add this to the top shelf. And then along with it, I found this one from Hobby Lobby and it's also a creamer, but it just reminds me of a pitcher. And I know that pitchers look so cute in kitchens. And so I'm starting off up here with that. And I'm keeping this one fairly simple. Now I like to add my biggest pieces. And so I've already checked this does fit, but I have to take this off and then carefully shimmy it in there and it will fit. But I love that it had the little gingham or plaid pink. And so that fits with my pink and blue theme. So I'm just going to put this on this side to kind of balance the heaviness of the white pieces with this. Since the front of this tray is only going to be seen, I'm not worried about the back. So I'm just laying this potted plant that I actually got from Amazon down fills up this space very nicely. And then to the opposite side, I'm gonna add some more greenery. And I just, that's one tip I have for you is to crisscross your decor. Next, I'll be adding in this adorable little truck that was in the spring section or decor at Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna set that down in the first tier and I think I'll turn that around. And then to the back of the trunk, I'll be adding these wooden spoons that I found off of Amazon, but I'll actually be changing this up. So you'll have to wait and see till the end how the whole look turns out. So I found this adorable little container from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to go ahead and put some jelly beans in there. And I think that will be cute for this little tiered tray and add a little bit of pop of color as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this birdhouse to the top tier and I found that at Hobby Lobby and if you've seen any of my past videos you know that I love birds for spring. Also to add that pop of blue I'm adding this Hello Spring also from Hobby Lobby to the top tier as well. Next, I wanna just incorporate this He Is Risen rolling pin. I'm just gonna swap out measuring spoons for the rolling pin, and then we'll be finished up with this tray. Okay friends, here's how all three tiered trays turned out for spring and Easter. I hope you enjoyed watching me decorate them and found some inspiration or tips that you'd like to use in your tiered trays. You'll have to let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a big thumbs up and if you're new here, please make sure to say hi and let me know where you're from so I can give you an appropriate welcome. Up next, I'll be cleaning and decorating our kitchen, so if you're in need for some spring cleaning motivation or spring decor inspiration, that video is sure to please. Make sure to have your notification bell set to all so you don't miss it. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a blessed day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!